Hi, this is Andrew Krug, the Global Community Manager for Niantic Labs, and you're listening to the Agent Academy Podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode number 65, recorded on August 30th, 2019. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. Agent Dewey J. And tonight, we're going to be talking about how Ingress, Niantic single-handedly decreased the load-in time in half, possibly. For, for some. Testing not, may vary. Not me yet. <laughs> um, we'll also be talking about Aurora and Mission Days. Uh, Malort might make an appearance, as well as um, more Mission Days. You'll be talking about some Mission Days stuff as well. And we've got a ton of news, uh, UI overhaul, uh, some new features coming down the pipe, and of course, the death of Redacted. Oh, has the community, some people, in uproar. Uh, also, Pokemon Go, uh, there's some stuff, AMAs, field test, and it's all coming to you right now. But first, I want to hear about your week, Agent Dewey J, the voice of the resistance. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the total voice, but I am one voice. Uh, you I'm going to get you in trouble with, with all your... Uh, no bands again. No bands. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, like you, I went to a mission day. I, I went to uh, Bloomington, Indiana, caught a ride with a couple other agents, and uh, it was normal, you know, just fielded all the way there. Um, so it, we got to do a fair amount of car grassing, and uh, that was kind of interesting because it's a college town. So while my driver was gawking at the college girls, we were going up off the street, but, you know, we got our our missions all done. Um, supposedly Agent 1017 was there and had some alert. I that's, didn't get to try any. That's funny because uh, 1017 PM was in Nashville too Uh-oh. at the uh, mission day there and I did get malorted for the first time. Oh god. And you survived, huh? It was, the taste was in my mouth halfway home because we were just about to leave uh, to come home and it's, it, you know, it's a two hour drive and, and an hour later, it was still there. <laughs> yeah, I've I've told it's it's unique, so I didn't get to try its uniqueness. Yeah, but uh, I, I did get to hang out on a thirteen thirty one van. Literally, got a picture of that. Oh, nice. Uh, um, so that th- that was a good time uh, getting to see a bunch of people. Um, and like most people, I you know hit the first badge in the Aurora Challenge. Went, I'm done. Uh, so I slacked off. Apparently, a lot of people did, but we'll get yeah, to that in the situation I think a lot did. I think I hit 143. Um, catching up on a what might turn out to be a sister podcast. We'll just, yeah. we'll just leave it at that. We like to have a little bit of mystery. Exciting news. It may, it may be news. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, but one of the other things I did is uh, I started playing well, around with the uh, command channel in uh, the glyph hacking and uh, came back across the compact complex hack. And it's like, oh. I really wish I would have thought about this when I was doing the Aurora hack, because this is a heck of a lot faster. Yeah, speeds so, it up. Yeah, so I've, I've been trying to force myself to do that more and often. And uh, I, I had a first, I ran across an agent that actually has a recruiter badge. I have never seen a recruiter nice. badge. Nice. I'm halfway and, there. Never uh, going to get it, I guess. You got one, right? I've got five. <laughs> five? Oh, oh cool. But yes, Zelly's yeah. one of them. Zelly Belly. <laughs> that's just that's so hard to do because you, know, you have to jump hoops and they have to jump hoops. Uh, again, I hope that's one of the things that they figure out when they go prime only. Yeah. So what about you? You you've had a ups and downs, and hopefully you weren't falling down. And <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So yeah, I guess um, you know I went to the mission day, and I want to uh, huge thanks shout out to some agents. Uh, Big Dog 60, Allison and Pilot 7, Allison 7 and Pilot 7. Uh, They let me ride with them. I've been having some, uh, just some weird issues lately where I've been um, getting dizzy. Is it it bad 
bad flies? Did you get a batch of bad flies? Yeah, because I love okay. flies. <laughs> well, you know, frogs. Right. <laughs> yeah. I love eating Smurfs. No. I got it. My, my daughter did an artwork of uh, a can of Smurf meat. Uh, but anyway, we'll show that later. Not I'll tonight, but get, next I'll episode. My, I'll get my frog gig out. We'll, we'll compare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I my wife uh, was very hesitant, uh, is a nice way to put it, uh, for me driving alone, uh, you know, a couple hours with um, whatever's going on. And I'm still, like, seeing the doctor, trying to figure out exactly what's, what's happening. Uh, but I, anyway, we'll, we'll find out later, and, and hopefully everything's good. But anyway, they... Um, so no springs in Birmingham got my because I had one of those little packs you get at the NL one three three one I couldn't go to that uh, just because I was feeling like crap and couldn't drive and uh, so he got that gave it to Allison Seven they came and picked me up in Huntsville and drove me to Nashville and um, so we did the mission day there got malorted cool. saw a bunch of friends uh, it was a great time there. Uh, so a lot of people from like out of town, I mean, 1017 is from, you know, yeah, like he's Chicago. He's so, yeah. Um, uh, and I got a new phone, so I'm real happy about that because Yay. it's, um, uh, my old phone, I dropped it during a first Saturday. Uh, and, and it really sucks because like I have lived so long without putting a case on my phone and <laughs> I'm really good about not breaking phones. It's been 10 years. Since I've dropped one. I don't know. Is that how long cell phones have been around? About. And uh, anyway, I dropped it during uh, first Saturday and, and cracked it. So anyway, it was a um, Pixel um, 3. Which sucks. But the Pixel 3 just does not have enough RAM. And so if you play, if you try to play like Ingress and uh, say Harry Potter at the same time, whenever you switch, it kind of shuts down the app. Not completely, but it like has to do all the reload animations and get back in. And it, it's a pain in the butt. But with the new phone, it's a Note Note uh, 10. It um, I can have all three up. So Pokemon Go, Harry Potter, and Ingress running all at the same time and switch between. Um, because it's the difference of, I think, Pixel 3s have like 2 gig of RAM, maybe 3. Where the Notes have 12. So it's a... It's a little bit of difference. So anyway, so far, I, I'm liking the note. If you're looking for a new new phone, you might think about it. We'll have the affiliate link. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, so did that. Like you, I I have a 100 on my Aurora badge. Ooh, 100. That's it. But I was feeling Stop. like crap, so it was... It that's, was that's, a, that's a big deal. Like, I had to go out and, like, get the last couple, and it was like, when I was done, I was done. Um... <laughs> Learned a new trick this week for debugging. So I'm trying to figure out, um, there's this place I go in the morning where I'm going like 35 to 40 miles per hour. And then you, you slow down and take a right into this like parking lot that has a bunch of portals every morning. No fail. Uh, speed lock kicks in, but it's not like a normal, like five minute thing. It's like 10 to 15 minutes shutting yeah. down. Re I, like it just will not come back on and i think it has a lot to do with right at the turn where you turn in it's a dead spot and i think there's something with like it's thinking you're going to be going forward and it's trying to like register that and you lose signal and then when you pull signal you're like way away from where it thinks you should be so like the speed lock kicks in like big time yeah i think it's that's right because think. i've noticed that around here our cell service kind of sucks and when i get speed locked it's like 15 minutes it seems like yeah and and there's really nothing you can do there's no resync or even run shutting down completely <coughs> run reducted <coughs> no i refuse i did it so i did it once and and that was um i guess yesterday i did it to see how long it really took to open each of the apps and it took six seconds for redacted and 19 seconds for prime huge difference now, well, we'll get to it in the news. We'll talk about the news. Update okay. on that. But, um, so Aurora badge. Oh, the trick. <laughs> so I want to try to debug <laughs> it. And finally, someone told me a, a trick where you, you just put your four fingers on the screen in prime, just tap it. You won't get a message or anything. 
But then you can go paste, use the paste function on your phone like Telegram or, or Note, and it will give you the debug log. So now you can take that debug log and make a post on the community forums about your situation and then paste in the debug log with it or attach it or maybe send it privately. I don't, from what I've seen so far, I didn't see any info in there that would mm -hmm. um, cause any issues. It didn't have like my social security number. Yeah, in no, and, and I looked at it, I'm like, okay, uh, this is going to help somebody, but it doesn't mean anything to me. Right. Like I think maybe it's only going to be useful for a tech, an engineer or something, but yeah. Hopefully nobody will reverse engineer anything, and uh, we have another set of programs that we have to kill off. Global plus plus plus. Oh, there you go. Global minus. <laughs> right. So, I mean, that's about it for my week and um, Zelly Belly's week. I'm going to get into that. So, Zelly Belly's taking a break for a bit. She's got a lot of family stuff going on with with um, uh, sports and, and things like that. So, she's going to. Be taking a hiatus for the show i don't know how for how long we may get some guest hosts in from both factions every once in a while we've already been talking or to blue, a few or blue so i think it'd be great to just almost have like two new ones in every few weeks or something and just who knows maybe someone will just be awesome and maybe we'll get a new host too so we'll see <laughs> so if you really want to try out for it uh call dewey J. I, I, I evidently have the first line of defense. If it's green, uh, probably no. Yeah. That's <laughs> not, that's kidding, not kidding, nice. Kidding, 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 kidding. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and move on into this. Sit, 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 situation report. That, that would do something sometimes, yeah, but whatever. So the website. Yes. Uh, still the same? It's pretty much the same. We haven't really had time to add news lately. I've been uh, working um, extra hours at work, and that's probably going to continue through September. So uh, Agent Dewey J and I have been talking about uh, the website more and uh, podcast. I don't know when you want to talk about the podcast more, but... Um, whenever. Whenever, but... Um, so maybe you can do more on the website too. Yeah. So I'm retired now. I can do that stuff. I like that. I want to retire. Yeah. You can retire right now. Of course. It wouldn't work so well be able for me. To eat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to talk about the podcast? Or? Sure. Uh, actually it was, it was actually something I was doing a website for, uh, a local guy who was doing a sports website and, uh, he wanted to do something a little bit different. I said, well, what about a podcast? And he had no idea what it was. So I set one up. I thought, well, if I'm going to set one up, I might as well do something with it. And uh, I took, uh, I think I took the uh, dynamic compass video that I, that we used I don't know, a couple months ago. I just turned that into a podcast and then made a couple more kind of showing him how to do it. And so I'm looking at him like, well, I got four episodes. Why don't I just make this podcast? So now I've got like, you know, eight, nine episodes. So it's called Prime Tips. It is uh, just that, tips. I want to try to keep them short, 10 minutes right. less. And, you know, just individual things, you know, like um, how to use the command channel when you glyph hack. Right. Just that, you know, don't do anything. I don't want to step on Incredible Hulk's toes. He does great stuff. Yeah, but he, long he form. He, he just packs all kinds of stuff in there, and sometimes you just like, I just need one little tip. Right, right. Yeah, so, no, it sounds great. It sounds great. Just get to the meat, to the tip. Yep. Just the so, tip. Just the tip. <laughs> oh, we're not going there. Uh, <laughs> hey oh, hey uh, Inconceivable! So, who knows? You might see, might see that out there, Prime Tips. Uh, if you look for that podcast in iTunes and uh, a bunch of other ones. Uh, you you may find it and yeah, we'll put it in the show notes voice. and hopefully we'll we'll see it on the website if uh, you know we'll work and, that out and, and and like this show if you've got something that you want to know how to do or better yet you know how to do something and we don't let us know which is you know, probably more likely that's so. probably more likely yeah because I'm gonna run out of stuff in like two more episodes oh good so I need to be looking for three hosts <laughs> got it. <laughs> 
Okay, so also uh, big news, uh, the Vanguards. We, we saw the, the form. Uh, we talked about it a couple weeks ago. Well, the new Vanguards have been notified. So there's 19 new ones to round out all the ones that retired and to fill out the whole team. So we'll hear who they are later at a later date. Who knows? Maybe next week, maybe the week after, maybe now, at the next anomaly. Are there responsibilities changing as well? I don't know that information. Okay. But thanks for going off book. Maybe <laughs> look stupid. <laughs> no, no I, I thought I'd heard that they were going to be doing <laughs> mostly the same stuff, but they might be doing some new stuff, but I never got the, here's the new stuff. So I have not fake, either. A little bit of fake news. We got some more fake news to come later too. So speaking of new stuff, what's this the, the big UI overhaul thing? Well, I think you have it and I don't. So you probably know more. Uh, about oh. what's coming in two three one. So two three one is a it's a big UI overhaul. I believe this is is this the last one before redacted? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. Don't want to spoil this one. No. But uh, two three one is going to have a big UI overhaul, uh, portal edits, navigation, uh, things like that, yeah. and um, I think Andrews talked about it a little bit, and he said they're working on getting rid of the. The dialog box that's there after you hack and getting that taken care of and some more visibility things. Yeah. Speaking of visibility, yes. uh, I don't. Uh, um, I noticed in my scanner a couple days ago that I don't see fields that go up and over anymore. Up and over. They're all they're all down at the ground level, like they were in redacted. Well, the, and you said something that to me, and I opened up the scanner, and there was a link going past me, and it was, it really looked like it was under, like the the yellow circle around you, it was under that. So, yeah. you know, I haven't, I'll, I'll have to check the next field I see, but I I'll guess throw a blue, I'll good. throw one over for you. I'll just just give me an hour or so, I'll give you one to look at. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but I think they they might have done that just to improve visibility. I think. The last couple times that I've seen updates, I mean, it's it's getting to the point you can really see uh, portals that are owned by one of the teams, so that they stand out. Yeah. The unclaimed portals are still kind of hard to see sometimes, but uh, I think it's better. Is that better. even with the the new adjustment setting bumped up? The, does that help? The at contrast all? slider. Yeah. Yeah, the contrast slider uh, that does make it better. I I've got a couple of times that I was well, mission days was a good example. It was really sunny. And uh, couldn't see crap. Well, slid that thing all the way up, and then I didn't have to. You, if you've been outside, you know to work that you got to stop, turn, and put your phone in your shadow. Mm, yeah, and then, and then I know run. that trick. Yeah, <laughs> so you didn't have to do that as much with uh, contrast uh, thing. So and if I, you haven't played with that, you might throw that all the way up, see if it helps. Yeah, and I make a pretty big fit shadow, so like usually five or six That's agents <laughs> can kind of huddle in my shadow to fix their screens. I'm just like the setting slider. Oh, yeah, there's Brent. There's Dewey J. He's in the... <laughs> yeah. So also, uh, stat sharing, it's going to be in an update before October 1st. So uh, everybody will be happy about that, to be able to share your stats. And other websites can use OCR to read them and then uh, play games and stuff with them. Yep. And I don't know if... Um, That'll be, let's see, ju -ju -ju, I guess, uh, well, yeah. Anyway, 2.3.0. It started to roll out. I actually downloaded it right before the podcast. We'll link to all the notes about it, but there's definitely a noticeable speed improvement to logging in. I, I downloaded it and logged in. It was like 10 seconds, which is, are you know, it's still slower than redacted, but it's a lot faster than it was. It, like, mm -hmm. it... I opened it just to see the new events tab and I was like, Oh my God, I'm already in. So I shut it down to open it up and, and count it just to make sure I wasn't just, I don't know, smoking crack or something before the show and just so uh, was that. seeing things. But, but yeah, it's just like any software if after they get it close to what they want it to be. Then they start working on optimizing. Yeah. And, uh, so they, they take some of those processes that, they don't really need any more and get rid of them and, and uh, refine others. And and speaking of uh, the new things on this one, the events button is now there. It's located on the little sidebar after you click the bottom button with 
with the setting scores, no nominations, missions, and store. So now there's an events button. You click it, and it takes you to a the website for the event uh, that's there. So yay for that. Also, XM is now brighter. Purple. It's purple. Purple. Which is good. That's it's right. kind of blue. It's kind of blue. I, I, I like that. Mm -hmm. It's part purple, part or part blue, part red, right? Is that purple? Uh, could be. Could be the red faction at work. The yeah. Red faction. Very little green in that, but that's okay. And something with chat? Yeah, so if you say you open up chat in Prime and start typing something, then close it out. Used to, you lost it. It was gone. Now, if you open chat back up, whatever you had been typing will still be there. Just kind of like a draft message. So you can type something and come back later and finish your long article that you wanted to post <laughs> to the comms that, you know, everybody's going to be reading. That's right. Your, your trash talk for the other side. <laughs> like, I've, I've never done that. Yeah. Speaking of trash talk, have you been hearing any lately? Uh, I have. Mostly about Prime. As Redacted gets retired. And that's coming up. Nice. When's that coming up? Uh, September 30th. I think they finally made the official. And, and uh, that's another thing with Prime. is that I've noticed that they are starting to use that feature that when you start up and there's a, a Redacted's going to be out September 30th or Aurora Chat Challenge. That's nice that you don't have to go to those other resources. Although you do need to come here. Yes. But you don't have to go to those Always other here. sources to get information. We, we'll cover it all for you. So yeah, I wonder how much about it. how much money we'd have to slip Andrew to get a, a note on there. It was like, hey, <laughs> listen to the Agent Academy <laughs> podcast. Huh? Here. We could probably do it. <laughs> uh, so I think the version now. Are you running two three one two dot three one? Yeah. Uh, or no two two three zero point zero two. So there'll be one more before Redacted goes away, which will be 231, right. which is the yeah, big UI update. That's what we're hearing. 231 will be the last one before Redacted. Um, and already hearing a little bit of rumbling from some of the older players. I think we're seeing some Telegram names with uh, retired 9-30 on the end of their name yeah, uh, saying that they're going to go out. So if you're going to go out, be nice. Drop all of your gear for somebody that's going to continue to play. So, so they can get banned. Is that what you're? Well, yeah, dirty gear. Don't don't go dirty gear. But <laughs> I'm not picking up crap. I'm not picking it up. <laughs> no, it, it will sit on the ground. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I I hate that because I've I've heard rumblings like that too, and I know there's there's people upset about the new version, and you know, hop in now. Like if you're going to leave anyway, why don't you hop in for the last month and just just play it. For yep. one month. And then you can at least say, I gave it a fair shot before I decided to quit. Because just hearing the news, hearing the, the Reddit post, talking to people who are just talking mad about it, it it doesn't actually mean it's bad. Yeah, they like, might run a 1.0. Yeah, or on a slow phone. Like, I've seen that yeah. a lot, too. People playing with a, a really old phone, um, and they expect it to run, like, redacted, which is old software. Like, you're... Um, you know, try try running the latest software on a Windows 3.1 and see how it does. <laughs> like, you're not going to even be able to open no. it, you know, so... I will say in the mission day um, that uh, I was the only one... I think I was the only one that was running Prime. Oh, yeah? And I did have to restart it once or twice, and, and mostly that's because Prime just doesn't really do well in low-cell areas just right now. Otherwise, it does fine for me. The, yeah. the other guys were like, well, I can't believe you're using Prime. I'm like, keeping up with you guys. Right. So, I don't think I had to shut it down uh, during Mission Day, but maybe they have better internets in uh, Nashville. Yeah, probably. I mean, we. I think we went through what you were talking about, that you hit kind of a dead spot, and then yeah. it, just, it just loses it. And usually when I lose it, it's in the middle of doing something. It's not like just sitting there, not doing anything. You know, I'm like changing from one screen to another or something. So I think it's updating where you're at, and but I, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I think I only had to restart it once or twice. That's not so bad. Nope, <laughs> I mean, it still bad. sucks that, that that happens, and you know, my hope is that the more people that get into Prime, the faster those type of things will be fixed because mm -hmm. as more more people 
use it and complain about it. And obviously the holdouts are probably going to be the people who complain the loudest is yeah. my thought. So hopefully when they start playing, if they do, uh, they'll scream the loudest about these bugs and, and we'll get them fixed. If, yeah. if, if you're using, you know, an old razor flip phone, it's time to upgrade. <laughs> Let's get something new. Let's play. Does, does ingress run on Blackberry? I think so. Oh, okay. Prime does. It actually loads up in two seconds on, on Blackberry. On Blackberry. I actually wanted the, the guy that I'm working on his website. He just retired his Blackberry. I was like, Oh my God. That's a big, like government phone still. Right. Uh, they, yeah. I think that's what it was. Someone stole my credit card and it was only like four years ago. And they, the thing that pissed me off, I'm going to, sorry for using some harsh language, but the thing that made me the most mad was they used it to buy two Blackberries from Walmart. I was like, I don't even want that on my history record of a credit card, even if it was stolen. Like, you, come on. You'd rather you'd rather have them, like pay thirty bucks to a porn site before they do that. Yes, because then it would just mix in with the rest of my charges, and no one would know. So <laughs> it's all good. Um, Speaking of all good, the uh, Aurora Glyph Hack Challenge, we failed it. Oh, yeah. We Miserably. Failed. Well, I don't even, we didn't even get to half. Right. The final result was uh, 17 million. The target was 36. Um, so don't worry about your inventory filling up uh, as fast uh, because until September 4th, you're going to get a third less on your hack outputs for Glyph Hacks. But, you know, I had a couple yeah. of people saying, oh, that's great. I'm like, what? They said, that's great because I'm always filling up on junk that I want to get rid of. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. I, I feel like there's something going on right now. I think there's a glut in items, in inventory items, mm -hmm. and Niantic is seeing it, and I think they're doing things to alleviate that. Um, I think you're right. You're right on there because, I mean, they've, they've stopped, uh, you know, Q capsules doing, you know, viruses and rare items and, and all that stuff. So they become rare now. And, uh, I, I think you're right. I think they're just trying to bring balance to the force, so to say. Yeah. Because I, I you know, up a year ago, it was nothing like, well, we're going to have to flip, you know, 20 portals to do this operation. Uh, no problem. No, I, I got, yeah. I got 20, you know, and that's, I don't know. It just seemed a little unbalanced. Yeah. I think it was, you know, when they first made the change on the QCAPs, I think back when there were Muffigas. I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly when they changed. But, you know, I think Andrew made a comment about, like, very rare items should feel very rare. And does anybody really think the very rare items felt very rare six months ago, a year ago? I'm, well, I'm, I mean, they just didn't for the most part. Well, let, let me ask you this. When's the last time that you saw a very rare link amp? Um, that you that you hacked or saw, quote would, unquote, in the wild. Uh, are we talking about the. Not. The, the super rare ones that you can only get from yeah. the. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, after the whatever thing that we had to do the link star or whatever and they made the the portal that thing mm -hmm. shot out like 12 i think yeah and that was it yeah, yeah cuz i mean that was the only way you could get it right that yeah. or cards i think they handed them out with passes so in passes. the past and things like that yeah, i've i've got two in a capsule that that's all i keep in that capsule because i you know they're so rare and yeah. when you look at what they can do that's there's a reason they're really rare yeah, and now they'll stay rare. You know, I don't yeah. know if it was an accident that they let them get out in that event when they did, uh, but Could that be. definitely made them a lot less rare when all those people got. You know, I think it was twelve, wasn't it? Three per hack. I don't know. I, I actually got three hacks. I forget. I actually got mine from an event that uh, the locals were really nice. The locals had extras. Hmm. They said for helping us out here, we'll give you a VR. Ah, that's where it happened. That's how I got mine. <laughs> no, was, but, the, no, the, no, no, the, no, that wasn't the band, no. <laughs> that would have been a year ago. <laughs> oh, Niantic, they're, they're they never they're forget. Slow, they're not that slow. Uh, <laughs> so tell me about this uh, Moodia drops. The Moodia? I, my spelling sucks. Uh, 
Stein Lightman. Uh, looks like he's got one message that they're cutting up into like five or six pieces. So I've got a couple of media drops that are just one or two sentences. Mm. And I don't know if I'm getting him in order or not. So I think I've got two, three, and four. I don't know that I picked up one. I so I think they're trying to uh, build a little bit of uh, anticipation. A little mystery? Could be. Could be. I've seen some um, media drops, but I haven't actually, like, I was like, oh, another video or something. So I, so I have Lightman C, Lightman A, Aurora Depart, Aurora XB, Aurora Taunt, NMS Trailer. So the Lightman A, Lightman B, I think there's a C. I think maybe they're doing them by, by alphabet. So you had, think, you have those, A, B, and C? Is that? I think I've got B and C. So I have A, so we can put these together. Okay, uh, we could we could probably do that. I mean, I guess we don't have to do it right now, but yeah. Well, he, now you got me curious. I want to know what I got. <laughs> I got to put on my glasses. Uh, I have. I'm gonna see if I can play this. Lightman C B, Lightman C A. Oh, I have A. Okay, that's what I have. And Lightman A. And my scanner's doing something really, really weird. Maybe uh, I broke it. They found you. It could be. This is riveting entertainment here. Yeah, well, You're welcome, well, folks. Well, look, look at my store. It's like a Nintendo, like Mario thing it's with just, all the question just, marks. All question marks. So maybe I need to update my software. Yeah, at least yeah. refresh the uh, refresh cache. Refresh the cache or something. It may do it. Because it was doing that sort of thing for badges. So someone yeah. was showing their badges and all their anomaly badges were all blacked out. All the other ones are fine. It was just the anomaly badges. And I don't know if it had something to do with like getting the latest anomaly badge, maybe desynced it and cached the I don't know. So like yeah, there's no they, way to really know it. Yeah, there, I but. think they had badges out of order there for a while. And some people were complaining about that and they got that squared away. So Yeah. And like you said, they're still developing the software. It's bound to make a mistake. It's like trying yeah. to make you know one car part that works on eight or ten different models. Yeah, and and they've in a game where it requires people all over the place to play to test. Like you can't get an accurate beta, you know, testing these mm -hmm. new features just in one small area. You need to get it out everywhere, and so we're we're gonna have to live with some bugs every once yeah. in a while. And 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 honestly, the phones we're using are not the big part of the market i mean you get into asia you get into you know india china there's a lot more phones over there than there are here and they're not the same phones that we're using so we are kind of the i guess tail end if you're looking at what what they have to fix right in the most numbers speaking of the most numbers why don't you tell me about this pokemon go what's going on with pokemon go here oh geez uh i think we mentioned this before but i i think they've kind of t kind of wrapped it all up uh there was a, a lawsuit that there were people in florida and a couple other places that when pokemon go started people were wandering around their backyards story one guy that came to somebody's house knocked on the door said hey can i go to your backyard so i can catch a pokemon of course people didn't understand what's going on so they wanted to sue people <laughs> right. um, that went on for a while uh they they finally finished uh those people wanted two thousand five hundred dollars the judge said, that's too much. We're going to give you $1,000 each. So the four people made $1,000. And the lawyers made a little bit of money, like $4 million. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. Hmm. Uh, but what's that mean for us? Um, Niantic has agreed to set up a website and online reporting system for people that are annoyed by blundering gamers. Now, we're going to say it's going to be Pokemon Go. Could be an Ingress player. Uh, but if Or Harry on, Potter. Player. Harry Potter could be Harry Potter, but if you're on private land, uh, they said that they're going to resolve that issue 95 percent of the time within 15 days. So that that's a good goal. Uh, they said they removed a bunch of Pokey stops close to single family houses, and said it will not place new ones close to such houses. So if you have some ingress portals that are disappearing, it may be too close to a house. And, and I, I wonder if it's um, if they're going to take it out of everywhere or just 
Pokemon just Go. Pokemon Go. It'll be know. interesting to see. I, it seems like an illegal standpoint that they they would take um, it off all. Take it off, off all just to you know make yeah. sure they they don't um, they get don't busted get, again. Yeah, um, but don't I believe get sued by one set of people that play the game. Yeah, uh, and um, and the original, they also said they oh. also said they're going to put some warnings in to tell players be aware of their surroundings, which which is there, and to follow hours of public parks. Yeah, and and I know in the original um, article they had talked about um, public parks could actually contact them so that they would make them only available during their opening hours or something like that. Yeah, but that so, would be cool if if the portals just weren't even available. Yeah, during those off hours. But what happens course, if they're linked? Yeah, the, the links drop automatically. Well, you know. Okay, I'm going to give up a little bit of news here, a little bit of OPSEC here, but it's not not big OPSEC. You know, when you're doing ops, you look for that. You know, hey, here's a, you know, here's a park that's gated, and it's going to shut down at you know sundown, and it's not going to open up till Monday. Yeah. You know, we want we want to put you know put our anchors in there, and then throw to it in the middle of the night. Um, so, I don't. I wouldn't see that they would drop drop the fields. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. So I guess maybe they would just, I mean, cause I guess the issue is if they didn't drop the fields, there's still a point there, even though you can't actively do anything with it. Yeah. Someone may still go in there thinking they can and try to do something with it. So I feel like they would almost have to drop the field just to make sure there's nothing there that someone would, try to go interact with but i i don't know no i think if you know if you you knew i mean you, you might try it once you know burn your hand on the stove once but if you knew that that portal was quote unquote dead to you I don't, I don't like know redacted yeah <laughs> give it a month give it a month uh, so excited so so watch where you're going uh don't uh don't trespass Get out of the park. Yeah. And maybe you won't be reported. Yeah, and you're you're an ingress agent, so you already know all this. Yeah. You know, ingress this isn't really for you anyway. This is for those <laughs> other games. I will say that the articles Ugh. only talked about Pokemon Go. Just want to say that. Yeah. Does, so does anybody know if, if Pokemon Go dude, bike dude, it, did he lose all of his accounts uh, but one? I don't know. I want. There needs to be a meme picture going around of a really sad dude on a bicycle with a bunch of phone holders and only one phone. One one phone. It needs to happen, whether it's true or not. Like someone make it happen. You know, I've got the skills out there. Well, he could have three phones. He could have Ingress on one. Oh, he go on one, and Wizards on another one. That's true. So, but get a note. Note ten. You only need one phone to play all three. It's just down. It is. It's true. So, AMA answers are out. I have not even had a chance to read them yet. Uh, so, we'll link to the answers so you can read them. Andrew did say that he's not going to do the next AMA till October 7th, since it's so near to the next month. Um, and it took him a while to get all the answers because of summer, holidays, and things like that. Yeah, being on vacation when everything burns to the ground, you know. That kind Perfect of timing. <laughs> so go read those. Let us know what you think about the answers that Andrew gave. Let him know. I'm sure he's interested. He loves all your feedback. He's been in our channel. Feedback and some people today. Yeah. Uh, some funny stuff in there. You want to go read it. He wasn't all hopped up on Malort, was he? For, uh, no. I think he's done with Malort forever. <laughs> <laughs> Smart man. He's hit it a few times, and I think it was enough. So we also have coming up a uh, field test hex hexathlon. Are you are you coming down to Beham for this one? When is it? Oh, we didn't put the date in here, did we? That would always help. Oh. I bet it's on this page if you click it or in the uh, events. It's on nine fourteen. Nine fourteen. So I will have to check my schedule. I, I may have. May have a nationwide op. Nationwide uh, is on your side. side. As long as it's blue. 
Mm. Uh, I'd have to check. I'd love to go down to Beham to do that. I mean, I don't think I've ever been, even in, even in Chicago, we were both there, but we never ran into one another. Yeah, we did. Well, I mean, we ran into I each other. I hugged you. Gave you a you, hug. Yeah, you gave me a hug. You put a, didn't you run put, into each put other. A phone on me. But I mean, we didn't run into each other while we were playing. You know what I mean? I didn't get a oh, chance right, to blow right. your. I didn't get a chance to blow your crap up. Right. I didn't even see your crap. Well, half the time I was live streaming from the main hall. Okay. And then I was you trying were- to catch up to my team after I, uh, the stream went down when Zelly's power went out. <laughs> That's right. So I was That's like, right. well, I better get out there and do something. <laughs> so. Yeah. I mean, I think I've only seen you on the map one time, and that's when, doggone it, you fielded over the top of me. Yes. That was that was a good day. It was a good day. We still won that cycle. I just want you to know. We Not won down cycle. here. We didn't win that checkpoint, but we won that cycle. <laughs> that's good. That's good. So, AMA. <laughs> or, or no, we're to the field test. Hex, Hex, hexathlon. Hexathlon? That's hard to say. Hex- yeah, I... I'd like the way you're saying it. I'll Hex- go with that. Hexathlon. Hexathlon. So it's it's kind of unique. So this will be be an individual challenge. It'll, you'll have 30 minutes to check in and then 90 minutes to complete six individual challenges. And all the agents who complete all six challenges will get a badge for it. The top 10% for their city for any challenge will receive the elite version of the Hexathlon medal. And so you'll need to register on the website or the events tab in the scanner. It's not active yet, the actual registration page, but you can still click on the events and kind of look at it and get ready. And there was something kind of crazy about this, some unofficial stuff. What was that? Oh, yeah. I will admit I fell for it for a short while. Somebody released uh, the quote-unquote official badges for... Um, field test and of course it spread like wildfire and then I thought uh, and I looked at the source and it was somebody had just kind of made it up so some fake news got out there fake uh, the news other, fake news so yeah if, you, if you're seeing the official badges those may not be the official badges <laughs> they, look, they look good I, I'll say I mean they look like they could be good badges but I don't know if they're the official badges did they look like the new style that they've been doing Kind of, it was, you know, the, the uh, logo that they use for field test, kind of that circular yeah. thing. It was that, and they just had the different colors. Oh. So. I'm going to say no, because I think it's only two badges. Yeah, I was going to say this one had, I think this one had like five. And, and so. Unless they give a different badge for each challenge, yeah. which, which I don't see them doing. I don't see them do that, yeah. Now, here's the big question. Any idea what those challenges are? I don't know exactly what they are, but I I really think this is a good way for them to test new features for upcoming anomalies to have these field tests with different things that they're like, you know, what about these things that we could put together to make one phase? Let's try each piece. And then the things that seem to work and people are doing them, we can put them together. And so what I'm hearing is this is where they're going to test link lasers. Oh, Link Laser! Link Lasers! <laughs> I remember that. We were going to make a shirt. We never got around to making the Link Laser shirt. I, I think a Link Laser shirt should be like a half top. You know, just... <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it looks like it's burnt, like, yeah, around like the edge. Burnt, burnt on the bottom. It'd look terrible on you and me, just a little gut sticking out. So <laughs> there'd only be certain agents that could wear it. Yeah, no. So, yeah. No, maybe we could do, like, a two-tone green-blue... There you go. But it, it looks like it has up. a burn line at the bottom where the link laser go. will cross. And so one's blue top, green bottom, and the other one is green top, blue bottom. So yep. depending on the collector's facts. items. I like this. And so we'll just get the two shirts, cut them up, <laughs> sew them together, or melt <laughs> them together. Why, why don't we set Zelly on this? She's better at this stuff <laughs> than we are. Uh, that seems very sexist. I'll be honest with you. Well, no, she said she likes to do that stuff. So. No, I'm just I was kidding. talking about sewing. <laughs> you gonna have her do your dishes later? <laughs> Get back in the kitchen. Take uh, off your shoes. Yeah, she's definitely uh, gonna have some uh, words for us later now. So yeah, this is gonna be bad. 
At least I don't think she's going to listen to this episode. So we're lucky. But her friends do. So we're screwed. Yeah. So we're lucky and we're screwed at the same time. Well, are our friends Ingress players? Yes. Okay. We can send them a cap of gear. I, I can't. You're the one with the connections. <laughs> <laughs> Mailing them dirty bombs. <laughs> That's right. No, so if, man. You're, if you're finding caps around the university there, people, you just pick them up. Run. <laughs> Speaking of picking up, Go Ruck is announces that there uh, will be a part of the Umbra Anomalies of Stealth Ops and Operation Clearfield, where you pick up stuff. That's where the segue meets this one. And uh, Ruck the Box. So... All the people who enjoy those events, cheer, uh, don't quit because of Prime, and go do Go Ruck and have fun. And, uh, you know, I'll just say it again. Ruck the Box can make a big difference. It, it seems, really can. Seems like it would make a great title for a song, too. I'll be honest. I'm sure we have an agent out there somewhere that'll come up with that song. Maybe JBJ Blaze or somebody. Yeah. Maybe I'll make it. There you go. I don't have time. Let's be honest. <laughs> Yeah! Okay! What? Oh, we're talking about light lighting dynamic settings. Have you played with this thing? It was in 2.292. I have. Um, mission days, it came in handy because yeah, you we're talked outside. about that. Yeah. Sorry. So, yeah, sliding it up. Although, I will say you can overdo it at night. Um, it seems to work great on the uh, on the Android. I don't know about the iOS version. I don't either. We need an iOS user to let us know how it works on there. You can find it under the main menu settings. If you're in the chat Little room, slider. let us know. Um, but yeah, so I think that's about it tonight, except for the code for the end of the show. Which, bad news, JBJ Blaze, I already got it. Yeah, so we, we got a test, test process now. Yeah. Yeah, we, we were crazy. We thought, let's try this before we release it. Let's let's not be niatic. Let's try something out before we oh, push it out there for everybody. That was dirty. Andrew, you heard who said it. it was the resistance guy. You knew it was. The resistance coming. guy. Just ban me again. Uh, again. I love that. The Agent Academy with the banned resistance agent. The voice yeah. of the resistance. <laughs> the voice oh, is man. silent. Dun, 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 dun. So that code is AA Prime Wins AA. So enter that into the uh, box, the code redemption form, which you can find on that badge or the last two badges. And eventually we'll get all the badges under that same form. So there will be one form to rule the whole. And also, if you're if you're a new listener and you're trying that out, that has to be in all capital letters. So it is true. That won't work. Lowercase. Sounds like that was a sore subject for you in the early days. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're the reason I changed the form yeah, to I, actually tell I, people, I, hey, all caps. All caps. <laughs> I wonder but if I could make it not case sensitive, but, you know, it uses a passcode form field, so I don't think I can. <laughs> uh, I don't think you can. So. Um, but anyway, yeah. not that big of a deal. So I guess I could just set it to make... Oh, I know what I can do. Yeah, I can just do some CSS to make it all caps when you type Whatever it in. Put it in as all caps. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. He's thinking. It. He's thinking. Freaking web sites. Anyway, there's some other things like the. Uh, anyway, that's web <laughs> stuff. We're not talking about that. That's a different podcast. Speaking of, where can people find uh, the new Prime Tips podcast? Just on YouTube, or you got a, uh, a they link? They can find it on YouTube. Um, I think if you go to bit.ly bit dash l y slash prime tips video capital p capital t that. capital v that'll get you to youtube um and you could just look it up in uh itunes and Man's you should be able to thinking. find it that way uh, spotify i think we've got it on five seven or eight of them so that's awesome th it's it's nothing like this it's not you know high end like this broadcast Right. It's kind of amateurish, but you know, we'll we'll get it together eventually. Right. We'll see. We'll see. So go uh take a listen, go leave a, a review on it on uh Google Play, you can leave a review, iTunes you can leave a re review. Everywhere you can leave a re review, leave a review and let's uh let's pump up that podcast. Yeah. And, and like I said, if you got something you want to know, 
let us know. Well, we're there to serve. Yes. And we'll, we'll test it out. That's right. And things. We may tell you the wrong way to do it, but we'll tell you how to do it. I was getting worried about you. She always is. That's weird. She says that now, in all the wrong places. When when you opened up Redacted, did she say how long you had been gone? I had the volume off. I don't uh, know. If if you if you're going to Prime and you're leaving Redacted, not playing for a month, you get a different message. She gets a little snooty with you. Oh, when you go back to Prime, or when you when go you back, go back to, to go back to Redacted. So if you have been in Redacted for like a month. She gets she gets a little bit rough. Huh. I feel like she should be like, what are you doing back in this old junk? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, we're closed. Yeah. Don't waste your time here. Prime one. It's a fight. Anyway, we'll see y'all in a, we don't know when the exactly the next show is. I, I got a doctor's appointment on Tuesday and I don't wanna see how things are going and um yep. hopefully we'll be back in like and next week's like Seems like there's stuff going on. Is that first yeah, Saturday? You, you, you got Monday. Most people aren't working, and yeah. But so then we have first Saturday the next weekend, yeah, right? First Saturday after that. That's a big so, weekend. So we're so going to take that one off for sure. I'm going to call it right now. So next next week, no show, but hopefully the following week, we're going to get our calendars aligned and see what's good. And, and maybe we'll kidnap Andrew and uh, put him on. Yeah, that sounds good. You know where he lives now. You were telling me earlier that you like to pass by his house and leave him notes. I've been dropping gear outside his house. What? Me up. <laughs> what if someone there has been doing that and now he's like, it's him. Oh, oh. <laughs> it is oh, not me. It, it is. is. Me. He's lying. It's all him. It's all him. <laughs> or some of his resistance buddies. Yeah, no. <laughs> resistance buddies. Anyway, oh, we'll see you all in a couple weeks. Uh, thanks for listening and tuning in and uh, get out there and move and make some green fields. Bye. See you later. Bye. <laughs>